guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well, strong and safe. A video about drugstore products. So pretty cheap, pretty affordable, but doesn't mean they are not good quality. <laughs> L'Oreal, I use a lot of L'Oreal products first because they're French. No, I'm kidding because I just love it and we, as a French person, we grew up with those products. Infallible or for you, infallible. Uh, 24 hours matte, that's good. 24 hours, we don't care really. So the thing I always do, I apply on the top of my hand. It's supposed to really blur your skin, apply your foundation like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you pretend. Be sure you're not missing on the ear. Uh, and as you can tell, I'm very fast because if you look a lot of videos, I mean a lot, the videos I'm doing in a beauty category, like you guys, I'm busy. And, uh, and I like to apply my makeup in 10 minutes. Those girls who apply makeup every day for an hour, two hours, I'm like, wow. And they're 20 years old. My gosh, you should not even apply makeup at 20 years old. But that's my point of view. <laughs> A concealer. This one is health. French women usually don't use a lot of concealer. But you see, I'm not doing this triangle and this thing, and no, I never do that. It looks extremely natural. And I'm gonna do a lot of filming today, and maybe you know, you don't know. When you do filming or videos, you need to add a little bit more makeup palette. It's called Shadow, Brow, and Leaner Palette. So, it's like that. It's very nice. So I'm just gonna remove that. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, we, we said we're going for a neutral, natural look. So I'm gonna go for this one, the number two. Always do the both eyes together. By the way, I never do one eye and the other eye because as you know, we don't have a very symmetric eyes anyway. You always want, one of your eyes is a bit lazy, but one I'm using. So this is the brush from Tarte. And uh, you know you have a lot of brush, one is for the eyebrows and one for the eyeliner. And I like this one because it's really thin and hard. Usually if it's too thick, you know, for example, like this one, but I just ditch it. So uh, the eyeliner gel I'm using is from L'Oreal because I'm worth it. <laughs> and always and because I need the glasses so I like to go for a natural look so I'm not gonna go crazy so I got this this one is my knife as well my knifing and this one is way too strong this one is perfect for for you know squeezing the blackheads and cleaning really under the eyebrow I was looking straight in the mirror so sorry I'm not looking at the camera so I'm looking straight in the mirror I'm not closing my eyes and I'm trying to do this flick. So I'm trying not to do go flat because otherwise my eyes are gonna look like Cleopatra. We don't want that. We want just a little flick, you know? And again, this is not gonna be a perfect one. First of all, I don't know how to do a perfect eyeliner. We don't have, you know, we, we're over 40 years old. So we have a bit of a powder, primer, etc. Supposing to be super smooth, but it's never super smooth. The one, the only that I use all the time is the telescopic extra black from L'Oreal so that will completely elegate my eyelashes uh, it's very dark true black so it really makes fuller I'm gonna try not to lose my eye in some time okay on the top you can tell guys I spend a lot of time on the eyelashes if I have to pick one product only as makeup and I could live almost with nothing except mascara. Mascara would be on an island and would be the mascara 
Well, I'm not even shocked because on an island I would be always in the water, so mascara is totally useless in the water. I really, I don't use fake eyelashes. I'm trying sometimes, it gives me a headache to stick them. The glue is everywhere, then I got the glue on the eyelid for, for forever. I'm like, it is not for me. Um, I try once as well, eyelashes, extension, you know this one. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, it looks good for the next few days. Maybe it wasn't good quality. I think it's expensive. And um, they just like, they're touching everything. I can't use mascara anymore. Then you start losing it. Then you're with a partner and you got the lashes or they're all over the shop. Not working for me. Let me know in, in a comment if it would be interesting because I can show you how I look after my eyelashes. Then my real eyelashes is nothing else. Um, but I have this technique with this mascara and yeah, I, to me it's everything that's going to look, lift up everything, you know. Then second one, I told you, I'm crazy about mascara. And talk about mascara, uh, did you know that you are not supposedly to keep a mascara opened after three months? This one I change all the time. This one already because I use mainly the brush and the mascara itself. But I feel like this one is grabbing more hair than the other one. I don't put mascara in the bottom and it still grab the mascara. So now it's clean session. And this one you use the big, big. You see the eyes takes the longest. So I'm still having this flick, but you can tell it looks less dramatic with the mascara on. Little bit of a shadow, I don't even sure if you notice it barely. Eyebrows done. So the step number two is going to be the e.l.f. This time I'm using the bronzer. Oh gosh, it's everywhere. So this time I'm using the e.l.f. and And I'm always starting from the forehead and I'm lifting up. I'm not putting like that. I'm literally applying and I'm very generous. This one is the best ever. It's a mineral one. It literally melts on the skin. So I never go crazy with contour. To me, it's better to have like a, a sun kiss. So I'm having this problem with the chin because I have a double chin, which I'm sorry, hate. But if you had some darkness, what do you think, guys? You see, it's not much, isn't it? It's very, very subtle. And uh, to me, it's very natural. You can tell my eyes are really popping out, look much bigger. Uh, to me, that's the, mess, that's the type of makeup that we use every day. It's a little bit more than the average because I'm filming today. And for the final look, um, for the everyday, I will use this e.l.f. again, the light pink. And uh, But today, because I'm wearing this very light color and my skin is a bit of a tan, I like wearing red lipstick. So this is again the e.l.f. Uh, and I will link the products below because I have no idea about the color. I never use a pencil usually or I'm using the Inglot highlighter. it for the video guys i hope that was interesting you learned a few things um feel free to leave a um comment about this look do you like it do you recreate it what do you think about it 
and then uh, please don't forget to subscribe like it share if I know you really love this channel and you have no idea I love 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 your comments really um, so thank you so much for your support uh, please feel free to share this video with some uh, girls women who will love to who will really enjoy it uh, follow me on Instagram and then I will see you until the next video you take care of yourself and have a great day bye bye